Hello, Ancient Atheists, and welcome back. It's good to have you around. I've, uh, I wrote down your questions. I, I kind of broke them down into five questions. Uh, one of your questions was, you know, are you dogmatic and how? I mean, do I perceive you as such? Uh, hell no. That's what I like about you. No, uh, you're not dogmatic even as an atheist. Uh, you'll call anybody on their bullshit if they say something that isn't quite... You'll call, you know, over the cracker gate, over anything. Uh, I like that. We need a guy to keep people honest. You know, and I know that people that speak the truth get browbeaten a bit. I remember Ryan Maiden talking about how she's thinking about just not sharing her opinions because people just dump on her after she's said something uncool. Well, sorry the truth is uncool. <laughs> uh, you can check me on my bullshit anytime because I'm sure I say some bullshit once in a while. Okay. Uh, number two, is there any difference between religion and superstition? I think religion comes from superstition. Um, they come from the same need to uh, attach significance to random events, I think. Uh, case in point, when I visited a Muslim, uh, back when I was a young man, back in the early 80s, uh, there's was a friend, uh, he and I worked together and I got to meet his family and you know, and they showed me hospitality, and I was over at their place a few times, uh, and I remember going to use his restroom, you know, his bathroom, uh, in his apartment, and I noticed that he had, uh, that the toilet paper roller had been mounted on the right side of the toilet, because I could see where the screw holes were, and where the paint had been painted around, and he had switched it over to the left side, and I was young, and I didn't know much, so I asked him, Hey, I couldn't help but notice that. Uh, why'd you, why'd you put it over on the left-hand side? And he says, well, because of custom, we have to, you know, wipe our backside with our left hand because we turn the Koran with our right hand. That sounds superstitious. Why, you can't have a, even a hint of feces on your fingers. <laughs> I told him I just use soap and water. And he says, yes, but, you know, Saudi Arabia, there was a time where Water wasn't very plentiful, and, but, you know, plenty of Korans, I guess. And you can't defile the Koran by touching it with the same hand that touches where the sun don't shine. And I remember when I was staying with relatives, and I came in on a summer day, and I had a couple of comic books I picked up at 7-Eleven down the road, and I set them on this table as I went in to use the restroom, and uh, my uncle came unglued because I had set my Swamp Thing comic book on top of the Bible. And he just came unglued. You don't put anything on top of the Bible. The Bible is not a book. I know it looks like a book, but it's not a book. It is a holy artifact and nothing can be put on top of the Bible. Except your hand, I guess, when you're, you know, sworn in at a trial. In dust that might settle on it, you know, we can't stop dust from settling, but nothing gets put on top of a Bible. I'm surprised it's bound by the laws of gravity, if it's such a sacred thing. No, religion, superstition, they're not exactly the same thing, but they come from the same place. Same need. Because shit happens, and life ain't fair, and we need to find a significance in these random things and attach a meaning to shit that just happened. Why, it happened for a reason. Is there a single reality, or could there be several? I think either one could be true, I don't know. But it's an interesting question. I, I'm one of those guys who believes that the singularity we call the Big Bang was not the beginning of the universe. And I don't know if, if it was infinite, but it probably is. I'm thinking that 
maybe it goes into cycles, but when we're talking about billions and trillions of years, yeah, that's pretty damn close to infinite in my way of thinking. You know, a person who's only been on this planet 50 years and is hoping for another 50. Yeah, there's, there could be other other universes, other realities. I mean, our perceptions, as you so wisely pointed out, are, are limited. And that's... I mean, we get reality through the filter of our limited perceptions. We don't hear all the pitches and sounds. We don't see every color there is. I'm sure of that. Anything's possible. Four. Are you being disrespectful to people of faith by saying the things you say? I think people need to... Uh, I think people need to, you know, get over it. I... I don't care if you tell me that you think I'm full of shit. I'm sure you wouldn't say that to me in a general statement, but I mean, if I said something that you said, hey, I gotta call you on that. Well, I'll just sit up and listen. I'm not gonna get bent out of shape. I'm, I'm glad you're there to say that. I mean, I care more about the truth than about seeming to be right. You know, so... I don't think that's disrespect at all. I think that's a kindness. And anyone who thinks that this disrespect needs to grow up. Ah. Okay, five. Can you remain friend on friendly terms with those who disagree with you? I think you should be able to. I wouldn't mind if you disagreed with me on anything. I, I'm fine with that. I mean, we agree that we don't believe in religions and... Gods. I'm not saying that there isn't a god or gods, but uh, it's a little beyond my reckoning, and I'm pretty sure it isn't in this dusty old spell book that came from the Fertile Crescent uh, back when a wheelbarrow was considered pretty high tech. No. Uh, anyhow, I just wanted to send you a video response. I was going to text message, but I thought this is the ancient atheist, and he's been gone a while, and I haven't. I haven't done a video response to you yet, and I should, because you're one of the first people to to show me any attention at all on YouTube, and I appreciate that. You're one of my early subs, one of my first friends, and uh, I like you a lot. I think you're a great guy. So, I'm glad to have you back, you know, and um, keep doing what you're doing. Don't, uh, don't fall into the trap of being too polite. Um, I... I appreciate your candor, and you can check me on on my bullshit anytime. If I say something that doesn't sound or smell right, I'll always listen. And and my video responses, all the every video I make, I I clear them for automatic acceptance of responses, and I don't I don't. Um, pick through the comments and delete the ones I don't like. So, I mean, that's the way it is. I don't block anybody. And, uh, and you're always welcome on my channel, brother. I like you. And I hope to see a lot of videos from you in the future. So, this has been my response, and I'll talk to you again soon. Goodbye, for now. I don't know if you can see him, but there's uh, two turtles. Nose the tail on right down there on that piece of wood. Oh, I think they might be doing the nasty. I don't know, they're not moving much, but I don't know how tail. Oh, he keeps getting up a little higher. Oh, they just went over. Yes, they were doing the nasty. And <laughs> she's getting away from him. <laughs>